So a fresh look with a familiar twist as we head to Portugal. Rally headquarters once again in Matasinhos in the north, from where they'll set out to tackle 18 stages featuring more than 300 competitive kilometres. A new Thursday evening start ceremony in Coimbra, central Portugal, midway between Porto and the capital, Lisbon. And then all change Friday with that return to the roads around Arganil for the first time since 2001, prompting memories of a golden era as we've heard. Three classic stages, each repeated in the afternoon, and one student of the sport knows what to expect. I've been there because we tested 2016 when I was at the Volkswagen at the time still. Uh, we were testing in, in this area, so I know I know what is what is coming up. It's it's very hard base, there's like a bedrock. It's not like the what you have in the in the rally, the other areas, I mean like Farfe, which is more like a sandy soft surface. Arganil is hard uh, bedrock, it will be harder for the tires, but also very creepy. Saturday, pretty much as you were, another double loop of three familiar stages. Amarante is stages 10 and 13, the longest of the event at more than 37 kilometers. Portugal's stages are typically soft and sandy to begin with, becoming rocky and rutted as traffic passes through. The second pass can be very different to the first, all adding to the challenge. You need to be uh, always careful uh, because uh, there's a lot of grip changes, you have different surfaces, sometimes it can be sandy as well, it can be rough on the second pass too, so uh, it's, a, it's a challenging event, we have some stages also with tarmac section uh, in it, uh, so uh, it's a little bit of tyre management as well, but uh, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a nice event with a lot of spectators, with a good atmosphere and which rally drivers like. Talking of which, Sunday, one of the most eagerly awaited days of the season. Five tests featuring the big one, a double pass through the legendary FAF. The second is once again the end of rally power stage. Tens of thousands of noisy fans waiting to cheer the crews on and over the spectacular jump just before the end. Brilliant atmosphere, whatever your viewpoint. The hillside is just you know, jam-packed with people and they're they're so enthusiastic and you actually can hear the, the cheers of the people inside the car. It is a fantastic place. It's a nice amphitheater when you drop down onto the tarmac junction and turn right again and then obviously the, the big jump towards the finish. But uh, yes, it's certainly a challenging stage that requires a, a lot of commitment, you know, if you want to set a top pin. Get all the action, all live. Anywhere, anytime. WRC Plus, all live.